Hey kids, how are you? Coming in randomly tonight. I wasn't going to do a live stream today because I was a bit busy and just didn't have time. But as you can see on the screen, there is news. There is news. And I won't be here long, you guys. I'm actually in the middle of something. But I was like, well, it just came out, of course, at four o'clock in the afternoon, um, Eastern time. So I don't know. Maybe people are reporting on it. I have no idea. I didn't see much on the daily docket side today. I mean, I do know there was some activity this morning on Sean PD, Puff Daddy Combs stuff. You know, I don't know. He had something going on this morning and I was going to wait till tomorrow because I just didn't see much activity. But I did tell you guys that a lot of the creators were on high alert that there may or may not be a new lawsuit. So there is. And I just had it up on the screen, but let me, I'm going to actually go into Pacer as well which if you guys don't know, Pacer is a public document. Uh, it's a public records website. And you know what's weird is that I was on it yesterday all day because I was like, Sunday's got to be the day. You know, they've been like reporting and they've been, uh, oh, here it is, actually. They, uh, they've been doing this, you know, like Busby did it last Sunday. And then uh, there was, it was crickets yesterday. For Sunday and I wasn't gonna you know do any live stream or anything I was like ah eh, you know I mean I was trying to stream daily you guys but it's really grueling that's all I'm gonna say and I did tell you guys that I I was having a bit of a hard time with the Jeffries web um, lawsuit you know and indictment or whatever it was so I am actually pulling up I'm gonna bring in the article in just a second again for um, for Sean, for Sean P. Diddy Puff Daddy Combs, but give me a second because I profile, hold on. I'm actually trying to go see what time they filed it. Oh, good. I'm in. All right. So let me bring you over here to Pacer. I'm going to bring you in there first. So let me stop sharing the screen for the article. Um, News Nation did something on it. I, To be honest with you guys, I really don't know. Who's reporting on it? I know everybody's running in front of the camera right now, though. I can tell you that. Let's do civil on this one. And let's do, uh, what's today? The 28th. Let's do the 28th to the 28th for civil. And let's see. Here it is. Right? Is this it? Wait. No, that's not it. Right? Is that? No. Hold on. Let me go back. Civil. Maybe it wasn't filed yesterday. Maybe it was just released today. Let's go back. Let's go back to like the 24th. Civil. Um. I'm looking for it. Where is it? Sean King. Hold on. Maybe I should do Sean Combs. Let's go back. Let's do Sean Combs. Or maybe I did it wrong, huh? Hold on. I'm trying to see. Sean P. See, last time it wasn't on here either. And then Sean P. Diddy Combs. I wonder if it was filed yesterday. I'm doing the 28th to the 28th to see if it was filed today. But see, it's not coming up. Sean Murphy. It's not on it's not on Pacer yet. It should be though if it's public, right? Uh let me do hold on. I'm trying to do this right. Sean Combs, we'll just do all. Um we'll do the 21st to today. That's fair, right? Maybe the article this is the 22nd. It would have been today. Everybody was saying that it was filed earlier today. I don't see it. I see the 23rd, the 21st, right? If you guys are following this with me. Hold on. Well, let me make sure. I'm in a lot of windows. Oh, I just. 
<laughs> hold on. I just, oh man, I just got it. Hold on. Did I just literally knock myself out of there? Sorry, you guys. I had a project up. I'm a video editor on the side. So I'm like, crap. I was doing my holiday stuff. Well, actually, let's go ahead and just bring the article back in. I think that's probably the smartest thing for me to do. I was not going to come in here today. I just was like, I, I'm busy. So, I mean, Sean P. Diddy Puff Daddy Combs is important in terms of like showing everybody everything. Okay, so here it is. Are we in? Yeah, we're in. Okay, so new article. Let me put myself down on the bottom. Sean P. Diddy, P. Diddy Puff Daddy Combs. Let me read this. I looked on, I was trying to look on Pacer, you guys. I couldn't find it. Not even in, like, it's not even in the civil. It's weird. Anyway, this was uh, published October 28th today at 4.18 Pacific time, two hours ago. Sean P. Diddy Puff Daddy Combs actually assaulted 10-year-old boy. We knew this was coming. I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Like Busby already said, I think this is Busby, but I didn't hear. Yeah, it's Busby. Here it is. Manhattan by Busby. There it is right there. New York, October 28th. Sean Pity Puff Daddy Combs has uh, been accused of actually assaulting a 10-year-old boy in 2005. According to a new lawsuit that joins more than two dozen others accusing the music mogul of actual misconduct, the civil lawsuit was one of the two filed on Monday in New York. So two, there was two filed today, it looks like, by Busby. A lawyer who says he presents more than 150. So we knew. We knew there was more. So this time, I guess it's just two today. Effective Monday, October 28th. And this makes a total of 17 lawsuits. Um, and then it says in Monday's second lawsuit, another male accuser was 17 on a reality show, which was making the band. And that was in 2008. The lawyer behind this lawsuit is interested in media attention rather than the truth. Combs lawyers said, of course, you know, they're going to say all that. Uh, resembling those issued after earlier Busby lawsuits. But uh, Combs' team shouldn't be surprised, though, because this guy said, Mr. Busby said he was going to, he said he was going to drop a bunch of lawsuits anyways. And he said he was going to do it within a 30-day frame. So it's still happening within that. So that's not a shock to us, right? That's not a shock to us at all. So in court, the truth will prevail, yada, yada, yada. Um, it says that Mr. Combs never actually assaulted or trafficked anyone, man or woman, adult or minor. It says Combs 54 has also pleaded not guilty in the S uh, criminal S trafficking yada, yada, in federal court in Manhattan, where he faces felony charges. Federal prosecutors have accused the bad boy record label founder of coercing and yada, yada. So that's the newest stuff. Um, Doe said, but let's see what they're saying about the lawsuit. Now, this is not News Nation. If you go back, I'm going to hit the back button for a second. So this is the way I found it. And let me go ahead and change the date. So if we, so this look at two hours ago, one hour ago, it's all over the news. Um, and then here is the U S world U S news two hours ago. Um, I'm wait news nation. Usually let me see if we can pull up the PDF lawsuit. Uh, PDF. Let me see if I can pull up the PDF. It might not show it to me. See, this is going back to the 18th, the 15th, the 14th. So if you do it in PDF, it's not going to show it. Well, two hours ago. Is the PDF in here? Here's Arab news. This was two hours ago. Let me see this Arab news thing. Arab news. Isn't that funny? Or Arab news? Am I saying that right? Arab news? Uh, is it? Yeah, but is the document in here? That's what I'm looking for. Um, no, that's another one. So this it's just a small one right here. I don't see a PDF in here. 
Just so you guys know. See, I, I'm looking for the PDF. I didn't go into DocuCloud. I can do that too. Um, but let's go back. News Nation is usually the only one that's really reliable of uh, new lawsuit. I'm trying to see. 18th, 14th, no. So let me take the PDF off. And yeah, it's all over the place. So this is just in breaking news. Um, I don't see anyone, honestly, that has the PDF on it. Sean P. D. Pep Daddy Combs, CNN's on it, Rolling Stone's on it. KGET.com is on it. One hour ago, ABC Chicago. Variety four hours ago. So it looks like it was, it might've been filed this morning and then hit all the media outlets this afternoon. It could be on Twitter. We can check Twitter, I guess. Let me, let me pull up Twitter. Um, hold on. I'll bring in Twitter. Let's bring in Twitter real fast. Let's, let's, uh, let me bring in Twitter. This is a first, you guys. I've been watching the debates today and uh, the rallies and all that stuff. Um, and I've been trying to edit this thing. My friends hired me. To, I have a job for social media that I'm doing. Um, let's go here to Inner City Press. Megan, you know what? Actually, before we do Inner City Press, let's do Megan. Because she usually drops the PDF. Five hours ago. Uh, just got home no see she hasn't she hasn't really posted a lot she hasn't really posted a lot i don't see anything for sean puffy combs today all right let's go to inner city press he's usually on it let's see Uh, Bishop briefing. Judge, nope. Mm -mm. Judge, nope. Um, nope. That's odd for him because usually he's on it. He did do a little bit of a briefing this morning, but he didn't say much about Sean. I mean, he did. He did say something that was going on this morning. I guess we indicted. He has a court appearance this Friday. Okay, here we are. Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse today, Monday, October 28th, 2024. See. Now, on the various beats that we're covering, uh, let's start with Eric Adams. Eric Adams, the mayor of the see. city of New York, indicted. Indicted. He has a court appearance this Friday, but in the run up, his law classified information procedures act schedule that because he insists that he wants trial for the mayor. Um, of course, uh, there was a bronze. There's that on the Sean Combs. Okay, front, here we go. Um, one of the uh, civil cases involves an alleged assault on a John Doe at a Ciroc vodka event. The assault was stopped by professional athlete A, who's yet to be announced. Uh, the judge in that case has set us uh, uh, an initial conference when January 2025. So that's how civil litigation goes. Um, but interestingly enough, there's although there's a request for a brief on why the John Doe should remain nameless. Uh, there was no request that the name of professional athlete one or of John Doe be disclosed to the judge to ensure no conflict and need for recusal, which is something that Judge Furman across the street has requested. So we continue to compare and contrast those cases. Now, of course, Trump and Harris, they're down to the wire. We did a song. Oh, yeah. Uh, we covered various things. But at the state level, there's been a lot of litigation, most of which is, is uh, seems to be going in a blue direction. Okay, so oh God, I hope not. Anyway, um, you guys don't want to hear my, you don't want to hear my, uh, I'm a Trump supporter. So anyway, um, moving on. All right, so nothing on that front, you guys. There's nothing on Twitter. There's nothing on any of that. But let's go back to my uh, report, I guess. I don't see News Nation on here. I see ABC. News Nation is the one that I rely on because they're the ones that usually 
like I said, just give the PDF so we can actually pull up the lawsuit. Um, Variety, uh, who was first on this? Two hours ago, four. It would have been, what, five hours ago? Rolling Stone. Yeah, so in my opinion, just by based on this, you know, and what we've seen regarding all of the press, oops, all of the press conferences and such. I mean, obviously, when they talked about a possible superseding uh, in, uh, you know, additional charges or whatever, uh, uh, indictment, I guess they, I don't know. I don't remember what it's called, but anyways, we know there's more. And since this one is focused on a minor, uh, I guess allegedly we could probably maybe, right. We'll have to see what law and crime and stuff like that is taught, you know, says about it. New York post just did it 46 minutes ago. Um, so let's see what the post is saying. The post is hard to read sometimes because they have a membership. But yeah, see, look at 735 Eastern time. So all this stuff just happened. Like all the outlets are just jumping on this right now. So as you can see, I mean, it's hot off the press, you guys, right now. It is hot off the press. Like all the outlets are just, you know jumping on this right now so and it's oh gosh we got so much we got so many ads when you go to the these websites like variety and new york post and stuff all these you know motion ads and stuff that you see like end up getting in the way of stuff but let's see what this says this one says sean diddy combs has been accused two more horrifying 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 sorry r's in the latest roundup of, of lawsuits, including one alleged attack involving a 10-year-old boy, uh, the other is 17. So both minors, one of, the new, one of the two new accusers claims he met the disgraced music mogul in 2005 when he was just 10, trying to make it as an actor or rapper, according to the lawsuit. Again, we haven't seen the lawsuit, so we might have to do that tomorrow because I'm going to have to find it. Um. It should be in Pacer. I don't know why it's not in Pacer yet. It should be in there. Unless I'm unless I'm looking it up incorrectly, it should be there. But it says, uh, let's see, the, the then boy's parents had hired a consultant and were told to fly to New York City to meet with some music industry insiders. And then they were connected with Combs who have offered to meet the boy for an audition. The complaint says... It also, let's see, the accuser was left in a hotel room with Combs and rapped some songs before the music mogul told him he could make him a star, but asked him how badly he wanted it. Plaintiff responded, remember, these are all alleged. Mr. Combs has not been convicted of these of any of the civil suits yet because they haven't gone to court or anything. He hasn't even been tried to his current uh, uh, indicted charges, you know, through federal court. So he hasn't been convicted of anything yet. So we just need to keep that in mind. These are all alleged allegations, but obviously there's so many, it's hard to not believe them at this point as a spectator. But uh, yeah, anyway, the plaintiff responded as as many 10-year-old children would, uh, he, that he said he would do anything, the suit states. He was then handed a soda by Combs and shortly after began to feel a little funny so you could imagine, so allegedly, let's just consider how Justin Bieber felt, allegedly, you know, maybe, I mean, obviously this is an MO for Mr. Combs, allegedly, so we can't just, I mean, here's the thing, I'm just going to tell you guys, I'll, I'll, let me finish the article and then I'll go on, put the camera on myself. But yeah, he gave him a soda and then he felt weird. And then it says Combs then allegedly pushed the boy down and told him, you have to do some stuff you don't want to do sometimes before taking out his private area and telling him to kiss it and forcing him to perform a uh, uh, fellatio, I guess. Is that a safe word? Um, by the boy. And then the boy froze in terror, apparently, allegedly. And oh boy, look at all these ads, you guys. Yikes. Hold on. One second. All the alleged ads in between, I mean, all the, I said alleged, all the ads in between are just throwing me off. So it says, um, 
the child then blacked out because he froze with fear. And when he came to, uh, when he came to find his pants around his ankles and that his backside hurt badly. Gosh. After the boy asked for his parents, Combs allegedly threatened to badly hurt them if he ever told anyone about what happened. The boy eventually did tell his parents, but they withheld reporting the incident over fear of repercussion from Combs. Why would you do? Okay. Anyway, I mean, okay. I mean, this whole thing is just infuriating over and over and over again. And I realize he was probably, you know, he was quite powerful and uh, there were a, sh a shit ton of people that were feared by him. But I think if it was, I mean, if it was me, I'm just saying, cause I, I, I raised two boys. I would have went to the police period, whether they would have called me a lunatic or a whack job or whatever. I still would have filed a report as crazy as it would have sounded just so I could have some paperwork regarding what happened. And I would have taken my child to the doctor to be confirmed record wise. And then as a patient, like I've said, told you guys a million, million times, even in 2024, you are an advocate as a patient, you can, you have the right to have all of your copies of anything on your chart. So keep that in mind. Nowadays we have electronic systems where we as patients have the access to download any reports, summaries, files, ER visits, anything. So keep that in mind, you guys, just as individual human beings that you have the right to have copies of your medical records always. So, and nowadays, you know, we have electronic systems where we don't really even have to request, but you know, if it goes back a certain time and you don't see it on your chart, but that's what I would have done, you know, but this was way back in 2005. But I think, I don't know, even our hospitals here in this, um, in our city and stuff, I believe they had electronic stuff for a while now. So apps, you know, and things like that websites before the app even, but that's kind of, I mean, in my opinion, as a parent, I don't understand why the parents didn't do it. But again, you know, we're talking about someone that had a lot of money, used probably intimidation and things like that. So who the heck knows what really happened about what he might may or may have not have done allegedly to the parents. But that's just crazy to me that his parents did not do anything about it. But again, you know, he's rich. He was a billionaire at the time. I don't know. Maybe they felt intimidated. While, he, while the child became wrecked, racked with depression that has plagued him for life, I bet. He, bat he battles fears and night terrors regularly. In short, plaintiff was deprived of a normal childhood and is unable to interact with others and live a normal life in general due to his encounter with defendant Combs. Crazy. Um, the second suit involves a man who, has, who says he was arred by Combs when he was just 17 years old. He was a contestant on the reality show Making the Band in 2008. In that incident, Combs allegedly asked the accuser during a private audition how would he handle sexual pressures in the, mu in the music uh, industry and also then proceeded to fondle him. And, and God, you guys, you, you can see, like, it's just, it's almost like, you know, like, and I, and I don't mean to digress, but I have to, because it's almost like this. Okay. So if you guys are fans of movies or anything like that, and you've seen the movie, um, pretty woman and you know, she talks about, there's a one scene in the movie where she talks about like, when you hear something over and over and over and over again, the bad things are easier to believe if you hear them repetitively. Well, that's, it's kind of like one of those things where when you're reporting on this stuff and you're like bringing it to the camera and stuff and you're like reading it over and over and over again, and then you read the, the actual lawsuits and such, it's like really hard. That's all I'm going to say. It's hard to, to, to read this stuff over and over and over again, but that's the reality of it is that these are the details that just keep coming out over and over and over again. So there's that. So anyway, um, there's a second lawsuit of the 17 year old and that was a, st uh, a, a band member or yeah, a, a contestant, right? A contestant. So it wasn't actually, maybe it wasn't a, a crew member. I don't know. But in that in incident, uh, Combs allegedly asked the accuser during a private audition, how he would handle actual pressures in the middle 
in the music industry and then proceeded to fondle in him and do his thing. Throughout this encounter, Combs emphasized his power to control plaintiff's future in the music industry, stated, stating that he had the ability to make or break plaintiff's career. The suit reads, Across two more days of auditions, Combs told the teen he needed to embody an SUL idol uh, or an S idol if he wanted to progress on the show and forced him to have oral and whatever acts, you know, and then made him have S with his bodyguard. Okay, I can't. This is like, it's over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So you guys can read the rest of that right there. Plaintiff's facial expressions during his ordeal showed his discomfort and hesitation, prompting Combs to express dissatisfaction. Combs stated that the plaintiff's demeanor suggested an intention to report the incidents, and as a result, Combs said he would be keeping an eye on the plaintiff. The suit reads, adding that the teen was soon eliminated from the show. The suits are just the latest horrifying ac accusations to be filed against Combs, 54, since October through a team lead of by lawyer uh, Tony Busby. Busby said there will be at least 20, 120 accusers spanning over a 30-year period um, and that everything will be filed. And then it says Combs accusers are, sp are split roughly evenly by gender. We talked about that before. It was 120, 60, and 60. And then of the uh, overall number, it was 25 minors. So we'll see. Cause right now I think we've, I think there's been five minors, if not, mis if I'm not mistaken, but it says 25 of them were minors, like I said, and then the youngest boy was nine, according to Busby. And then it says as with the latest accusers, Combs is accused frequently dangling promises of stardom to lure and exploit the victims. And then it says we will leave known. Oh, that was his. Um, so Busby's, what he said in his press conference is, you know, he, they're quoting him quote, we will leave no stone un unturned to find all potential liable parties to include any individual or entity who participated in or benefited from egregious behavior. Busby said at a press conference in October 1st, we know this. And then Combs was arrested in New York city in September. We know that he remains behind bars. Um, and he has pleaded not guilty. So again, these are all allegations. Mr. Combs has not been convicted of any of these crimes. So that is the latest you guys that is hot off the press just two hours, three hours ago, as we can see, many outlets have been reporting on this. Uh, as we saw it in a Google search, all you have to do is, is search the latest lawsuit filed today, October 28th. And you can see all the outlets that have just literally started reporting on it. And it's pretty much across the globe at this point, you know, a lot of different outlets have reported on this. So that is the news breaking just in daily highlight for today on the Diddy docket. Um, I don't know much more, you guys. I just know that the, the, there are two latest lawsuits, 17 and 10. Um, if I can get my hands on the actual legal document, I will definitely let you know. But definitely, definitely just check out the internet right now. And all you have to do if you want to read more or you haven't caught up is just go ahead and look up the newest lawsuit for Diddy effective today, October 28th. And all of the outlets are just reporting on this literally just hours ago. So all of this happened right around 4:30 Pacific time, 7:30 Eastern time. Uh, it looks like the lawsuit was filed this morning. So that's all that we have for the Diddy docket today or the Diddy just in breaking news uh, court updates. Nothing on the criminal as of today. Um, there was a little bit on the civil today, but nothing on the criminal side of things other than this breaking story that just took place a couple of hours ago. So make sure you guys take uh, look, look it up. I did look on Pacer. It's not there. I did show you guys that in the beginning of the stream. I looked on uh, document cloud. It's not there. We went to Twitter and look there for the actual, um, sometimes, like I said, inner city press, Matthew Lee or Megan Cuniff will 
post the actual document. I don't see it. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and see if it's there. But for now, we don't have the actual documents, but they must be public. However, maybe they, they're they not because none of the outlets have posted the PDF and we didn't see anything from News Nation. News Nation is usually the first news outlet that will literally put the lawsuit up for everyone to literally go to the actual place and read the suit itself. And we don't see it anywhere. It could be just that it's hot off the press and that it's just not out yet. And it's not in Pacer. I, at least the way that I was looking it up, it's not in the public doc documents, the public record documents website yet. So I will check it in the morning. If you guys, you know, are following inner city press or Megan Cuniff on Twitter, you might be able to see it. It could be circulating on Twitter as well, but I didn't see that it was there and I've been kind of caught up. I'm doing an editing job, you know, right now. So I, I didn't stream today, you know, for a long period of time, but I just saw this and I was like, Oh crap, I got to at least come in and do that. So hopefully you guys will appreciate that. I stopped what I was doing to give you the daily updates. So now I'll go and I'll probably just, uh, the, the live stream wasn't that active. You know, I just came on like randomly. I didn't plan it or anything. So I'll probably re-upload it as a, as a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you share it. If you, uh, or, you know, comment below if you, what your thoughts are on these latest, uh, articles and that's going to do it for me. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys had a wonderful Monday and I will see you guys soon. Um, I'm not going to play an outro or anything. I'm just going to kind of go. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.